Today's the big day. What's happening behind me? The garage is being built. And uh, what's on my agenda? Jen is going to move a shed. Bye. A little worker bay. Well, are you going to come help me? Maybe if you need me to. I, I already said I'd help her. She says she's going to do it herself. I'm like, okay. How about these? I mean, see, you're taking your Civic, so it's a little tough, but these could be nice because they're very heavy duty. If you lay out like two or three, pipes would roll right across these. And I gotta grab some pipes too. You want just three of these then? Yeah. So you can three. use one for like a break, a leverage bar, and the other two lay on the ground? Yeah. All right, so in the unlocked position, you could lift this up and say, hook it right on there. Right? And then you just click this up. Now you simply position it, and it's a very universal, easy jack. The only thing is you gotta be uh, careful with this because what happened here, I'm gonna let you do it now. Go ahead and press down on it and jack it. Oh. Go ahead. Chelsea. Oh, I see. Her. <laughs> How cute. Be careful that it doesn't swing, you up, swing up and hit you in the face, that handle. Okay, you see how dangerous that is, right? Not really. Hey, when you are pushing this, if you let go at any point, it will spring up okay. and hit you in the face. So keep your face clear of this. That's all. When you're pushing on this, keep your body and face clear of this. Okay. Okay. And when you're ready to go down, check it out. Look. You hit this down. And now you do the opposite. But when you go this first click, it's going to want to fly up. And if there's a lot of weight on it, it's going to be, it's going to, it's enough to take your face out. Nice mess to start the day off with. I didn't get very far. I decided to check Chris's private stash before I go and buy PVC pipes. I just, they're not like eight feet or anything. Ugh. Like, oh, that could be used for something. Just bring it in case. In case. In case you have to get an extra roller on the side or something. That's if you're going with three inch. If you're going with four inch, I get some longer pieces. Well, do you see any reason why three inch is a problem? No, That's I mean, definitely... technically it's probably stronger than four as far as, uh, you know, putting weight on top of it. Yeah, and those will fit easier in my car. Worst comes to worst, I'll come over there and help you push it if it's not rolling easy. So the bigger pipes you... Yes, the bigger the pipe, the more easy it's going to roll not across lovely. rough terrain. Like bigger tires. Like imagine trying to push a skateboard wheel across this grass over a truck wheel. Oh, okay. Less rolling resistance with the bigger <laughs> tires. <gasps> Alright, that's all you got for me? That one little puny pipe? That's it. Thanks. That was worth coming back out for. All right, scoot along now. There get better be here. a garage up here when I get home. There's not gonna be. There it is, going up. All right, I'm off to the races. Okay, have fun. Thanks. Why don't I always give I you hope, a thumbs up? Get out of the house, go. I hope I'm not like Wizard of Oz and you find me feet dangling underneath the shed. Well, maybe keep your phone handy. So if you gotta grab it, give me a ring. Life alert? <laughs> yeah, I'll get you one of those buttons. <laughs> you bringing the goose, man? No. Oh. It says I wanna go, no. I wanna be part of the activities. Not today, Gus. She says not today. Not today. We'll run you in the park later. Every time I go over a bump, more and more dirt and sand is coming off of these. Thanks, Chris. So why am I moving the shed? 
That's a great question. Chris has a bit of a vehicle storage problem. If you know, you know. And my driveway has become the overflow parking lot. I don't mind until it comes time to mow my lawn. There was one time I couldn't get my own lawnmower through. When we take these long trips, I have a guy with a riding mower. He cannot get that through right now. So we're gonna see if we can push it back four, six feet, and that should do the trick. I am hoping that the shed doesn't fall apart in the process, but it is a little rotted on the bottom. I'm pretty sure there's a groundhog living underneath. I'm gonna try not to hurt him. Hey, and I'm sure there's all kinds of creepy crawlers under there as well because when I first got the place four years ago, there were four sheds in the yard. Three of them were rotten and filled, infested with spiders, spider crickets, slugs, wasps. There was an entire ecosystem under there. The thing of nightmares, honestly. I'm sure we're gonna find more of that under this shed today. And you know the deal. I watched a couple videos. I got some pointers from Chris. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to figure it out. And you know what? If the Egyptians can build pyramids, I can move an 8x8 shed. At least I'm going to try. I'm really hoping everything goes smoothly. But let's be realistic. I'm sure it won't. This ambulance is backed up as far as it possibly can go to the shed and there's really not much room for anything else to get through so i don't plan on moving it very far i think if i can even get it back four six feet that should do the trick and then if chris felt like storing another vehicle or two in my yard then he could get them in This is gonna be the fun one. Chris gave me step-by-step -step instructions on how to start this puppy. You think I would know, but I don't. So he has the battery disconnected because it has a parasitic draw that he hasn't completely identified yet. So I have to reconnect it. He said, open up. Oh. Yeah, that's great. Okay, he said, He said, this goes on here. You can touch that with your... F hmm. Yes? Hey, when I go to connect this battery, I can touch the nut and bolt with my yeah. fingers, right? Yes. Yeah, I can't wait to you. It's a negative terminal. It's fine. Oh, okay. I just want to make sure. Don't bump it into the other terminal, which you won't really be able to do anyway because the battery is small. So. Okay. All right. All right, thanks. Love you. Right. Bye. Love you. A bug on my head. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to be safe because um, sometimes I make really dumb mistakes. So that goes there. Tighten it down. Oh. Looks good enough. Yeah, I'm not having success here, 
So I connected the battery, and then uh, the switch on the, the side is, there's only two positions it can be in, right? Yeah, so clockwise, on. And you sure you have the big cable hooked up to the battery? Tighten down. Um, damn it, well, uh, I, I thought it was like foolproof. You know me, man. A big, thick, oh. Uh, Well, that explains it. Ooh. Oh, the things you don't know until you know. I'm also working on really tight quarters here. For those of you who have not had a tour of the ambulance yet, here it is. We picked this up in Florida and drove it all the way home to Pennsylvania. We had a good time. Although I am pretty strong, I'm gonna empty the shed out so it's easier to push. Really good placement here, Jim. Off to a good start. I haven't been all the way deep in the shed. I haven't been all the way deep in the shed in years. I really just hate bugs. I hate bugs.
I've been looking. I've been looking everywhere for these. And this too, actually. Oh, all right, this is empty. And I'm not taking it out. I'm not taking it out. It's definitely adding some weight, but we'll see if we can still get it done. going on over there so this is what I'm talking about we got definitely someone occupying the space down there this thing's probably gonna fall apart a little bit but I think it'll be fine anyone home He's like, nah, I went to the bar. You were making too much noise. Break time. I do kind of wonder if my neighbors think I'm talking to myself. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. There it is, the contents of my shed. Looks a little different than the contents of Chris's garage. Not judging him, but you know, that's why he's getting a bigger one. You know, I have this vision of when I finally, if I finally get the shed rolling, this song, it's like, I don't know the name of it, but you all know it. It's It's like a big chorus, like it's a full chorus. I'm sure I can't use it, but if I can, you can bet your butts it's going in the video. I'm saying I probably can't use it because of copyright. But if I can, I will. Chris showed me how to use this. He said it was dangerous if I had my face in front of the action. I'm going to be careful. Don't worry. Hey, Jen. What's for dinner? I don't know. Let me check. Here in a jam, it's dinner time. Ketchup, mustard, rotten lime. What can I make with condiment packets? Can of beans and fluffy carrots. Time's a tick and grab your shoes and keys and sing that food store blues. Oh wait, good news, hip hip hooray. It's Hello Fresh to save the day. Or dinner, should I say. Hello Fresh is way more convenient than grocery shopping. But did you know it's cheaper too? Buying ingredients at the grocery store for a new recipe can really add up because you have to buy way more of it than you actually need. HelloFresh portions everything out for you so you're not paying for more ingredients or spices than the recipe calls for. HelloFresh can even be your gateway to learning to cook if you can't already. HelloFresh gives you foolproof instructions to making delicious gourmet meals. You'll certainly impress your company. Maybe you can already cook, but you're stuck in a recipe rut? HelloFresh has 40 recipes to choose from weekly to please even the pickiest eaters. I sure look forward to when that HelloFresh box is delivered at my doorstep. So go to HelloFresh.com and use code JENSUGENT16 at checkout for 16 free meals plus free shipping. Or click the link in the description. So good. Again, go to HelloFresh.com and use code JENSUGENT16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. You won't be disappointed. And now let's get back to the video. First things first. Yep, gonna have to dig.
just want me to wear jeans. I'm getting swampy. Broken shovel. All right, I decided I wanted to put like a little cookie down here. Something for the jack to rest on. Oh yeah, all right, we're good, we're in. I feel better about that. Here it goes. Let me make sure I keep my face away from the handle. See anything good under there? Oh, I think we can do this. Why are so smushed together? That's fine. Can't even get them apart. together. Why didn't anybody tell me? It was bolted down. Thanks, Chris. I think that's time to go. Well, I saw on some videos they used cross members, which is what I was going to do with those, but I only have three. I would prefer to have four since they're not very long. So, I'm just gonna see if I can move it with simply the PVC and roll it. And uh, then we'll go from there.
We got three. Here's what I'm seeing. I attempted to put a roller on the far left side and I'm unable to. So what I think I'm gonna do, I got three in on the right side. I'm going to release the jack on the right and let that kind of just go cattywampus to the right and then I'll throw the roller in on the left. But first I'm gonna put sunscreen on cause it is hot. My head started to get really hot. Ooh. Learning curve. he was talking about <laughs> keep your face out of the way people if you're new you're, you're learning did you see that i get it now On a scale of one to ten, how likely do you think it is that this pig is gonna move? Oh, a two, thanks. Doctor says it's time to push. Oh, oh yeah, we're gonna move here. We're moving. I honestly can't believe it even moved. I can't believe it moved. I think it moved. I'm shocked that I was able to move. How much do you think that thing weighs? I'm just shocked. You guys want to know what I'm thinking? 
I initially was just gonna move it back six feet. I told you that. But I think <laughs> this is going so well. Why not put it where I've always wanted the shed? In the back corner there. You think I'll make it? It's a little bit uphill, but I don't see why I can't. I'm doing it. Jen thinks she can push a 5,000 pound car. Okay, give it some. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This is really hard. I'm having a tough time. I don't know how much an eight by eight shed weighs, but I would imagine it's over a thousand pounds. I'm struggling and I had to change. I took my jeans off, I put my leggings on. Yes, some of you think that I wear leggings just for clickbait. Not true. I actually wear them all the time. They're comfortable, especially if I'm doing something that's workout esque. The jeans, even though some of you say like, wear more protective gear. Yeah, I get it, I want to, but the jeans that I own are not breathable. And I put my leggings on, and guess what? Because they aren't breathable, if I were to work out, guess what I'd be wearing? Leggings. Yeah, they're more comfortable than jeans. Sorry, if you don't like it, don't watch the show. Don't care. This is a workout. Do you see my face? Do you see how red my face is? My face is like a tomato. I even have sweat here, here, here. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get back out there and I'm gonna move that shed the rest of the way. If you don't like it, yeah, so I'm a real person, I have real feelings, I like to drink beer, and I like to work hard, and this is my real life, and I'm moving my f***ing shit. <laughs> and I love America. That sounded ridiculous. <laughs> is that too much? It was too much.
If you guys want full transparency, that was probably the hardest, hardest thing I've done physically ever. This is not a do it yourself. This is a do it with a partner. Unless you really want a butt kicking. But sure, you could do it yourself if you'd like to. It was challenging. I'm gonna be sore for probably the entire week, but I got it done and I'm really proud of that. I'll just have to do a little more leveling, but I'm gonna call that a job done. Ah! Thanks so much for watching. We did it. We did it. A little more leveling and now she is in her final resting place. Looking good, girl. Looking good. wrap just got home this is what we're looking at I bet they'll have it finished up tomorrow looking good can't wait to see the final product beautiful Memorial Day weekend mama goose and her little gooselets is that dad over there hi dad So precious. It's doggy heaven, Gus.
Chris got us about. stuck again. is covered in mud too. <laughs> she got sprayed in dump mud. Look, hold on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> because, you know, that's the dump right there. <laughs> and this is some muck that's <laughs> at low tide it's terrible here. All right. We're gonna be able to get out of here. Yeah we'll right? get out yeah. This is so nice isn't it? You have mud all over your lens. Crud. It's like dried on there. Did you have fun? You get muddy. Caddy swamp ass. Well, he threw 
always anchoring once and seem to have a rope tied to it. <laughs> so maybe. Great. You want it? Yeah, yeah. Bring it on board. Bring it on board. What, what? Oh, that yeah, was cold, down. babe. Yeah, so you don't want to keep going then, right? I'm keep happy in our little mud patch here, though. Back. Mud, mud, mud. I'm going to get us moving this one. I guess no. no. Nicely done. Oh. oh, I got it. Oh yeah, I got it. Alright, I'll be back. Okie dokie. Just probably, uh, you know, stand up here and hold it. Alright. You want me to tie it? Oh. That's Great. graceful. Yep. You got it? The wind comes, it's going to sweep it up. I got me. it. I got it. You guys just keep going for it. Woo! 
faster.